The rain poured relentlessly as I pulled my coat tightly around me, shielding myself from the chilling wind that whipped through the deserted streets. Seeking refuge from the storm, I stumbled upon the Grand Manor, a majestic yet eerie luxury hotel that stood as a lone sentinel in the darkness. Curiosity peaked, I pushed open the grand oak doors, revealing a vast, dimly lit lobby adorned with exquisite chandeliers and opulent furnishings. The scent of aged wood and musty air lingered, permeating the space. I approached the front desk where a disheveled concierge greeted me with hollow eyes. Welcome to the Grand Manor, he whispered, his voice barely audible above the sound of raindrops pelting the windows. We've been expecting you. Startled, I stuttered, how did you know? Ignoring my question, he handed me an ornate, tarnished key. Room 666 awaits you. Do enjoy your stay. Unease gnawed at my core as I ascended the creaking staircase, the steps groaning beneath my weight. Each floor seemed shrouded in an unsettling silence, broken only by the distant echo of muffled voices and faint footsteps. Upon reaching the sixth floor, I found room 666, its heavy oak door standing ominously before me. With trembling hands, I inserted the key into the lock, and the door creaked open, revealing a chamber cloaked in darkness. A flickering lamp cast eerie shadows on the faded wallpaper, giving the room a surreal, nightmarish quality. A shiver ran down my spine, but I couldn't resist stepping inside. The air grew frigid, and the room exuded a malevolent energy. As I settled into the lumpy mattress, strange whispers seemed to seep through the walls, chilling my bones. Shadows danced in the corners of my vision, fleeting and elusive, as though they were hiding something sinister. That night, sleep eluded me and I lay awake, consumed by the oppressive atmosphere. The distant sound of a music box reached my ears, its delicate melody echoing through the hallways. It was a haunting tune, reminiscent of a bygone era, and it sent shivers down my spine. As the hours stretched on, the walls seemed to come alive, shifting and undulating. Faces appeared in the peeling wallpaper, contorted in agony and despair. The room itself seemed to breathe, pulsating with a malevolent life force. I wanted to escape, to flee from the clutches of this unholy place, but I was paralyzed by an unseen force. When dawn finally broke, I stumbled out of the room, desperate for respite from the horrors that had plagued me throughout the night. The once lavish hotel had transformed into a decrepit and desolate maze, its grandeur replaced by decay and desolation. It was a labyrinth of despair, with each hallway leading to a new nightmare. In my quest for escape, I encountered the other guests, their faces etched with fear and torment. They whispered of a curse that had befallen the Grand Manor, trapping them within its spectral grasp. They had become prisoners, condemned to relive their darkest moments for eternity. Together, we navigated the hotel's treacherous corridors, hoping to find an exit, but it seemed that the hotel was determined to keep us captive. Doors vanished, hallways twisted and turned upon themselves, confounding our efforts. The walls seemed to close in, suffocating us as we descended into madness. Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into an interminable nightmare. The line between reality and hallucination blurred, as the hotel fed on our fears and regrets. We were but pawns in its sadistic game, mere playthings for the malevolent spirits that inhabited its walls. My mind is on the brink of insanity, haunted by the torments that lurk within the Grand Manor. I share this tale with you as a warning, a cautionary tale of a luxury hotel turned prison. If you ever find yourself drawn to its elegant facade, I implore you, turn away, for within those walls lies a darkness that cannot be escaped, a darkness that will consume your soul and bind you to its malevolent grip forever.